Hi guys, so um, welcome to my first Pokemon video. Um, now I'm assuming if you're do if you're watching this video, you want to know how to beat the first quest or clue on the um, Crown Tundra DLC, and I'm assuming you've already done all the you've already got the clues and stuff from however you say his name, Pony, I think. And so yeah, what you want to what you want to do to do the first quest is you're gonna come in here to the camp and you're gonna get the pillow. So yeah, you're gonna pick up the wooden crown, um, it all appears an option. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this all with um, the Nintendo Switch um, share button or whatever it's called, so that's why the footage is kind of odd. But yeah, so you, you're gonna want to pick up the crown, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. Then go back outside. Um, now that you're back outside, um, here's, a, here's it on the map. I'm recording this over when I did so, but yeah. Um, so you're gonna want to go to the statue, and as you can see, it takes me a second because I forgot where it is. Because I'm just doing this quest straight away when I got into it, so I wasn't 100% sure where everything is. But as you can see ahead of me, there's the statue. You're gonna want to make your way over there. Um, now you're gonna want to put it on like the dialogue option will say here, and right after this, I'll show a picture of how it should look like with the crown. Now, if you don't see this cutscene, um, that means you've done something wrong. It should look like that, and yeah. Then, um, the Pokemon, I can't remember what it's called. Although, yeah, over there. It's got the, um, Triforce, so I just call it the Triforce Pokemon. If you look at its neck or whatever, it's got a Triforce on it. So now we're going to want to go over there and follow it. So, now we go over there and we talk to it. Mm, yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, you can see the Triforce there, and so that's why I call it mm, the Triforce looking one. And yeah, I'm gonna go and want to talk to it. So, but um, instead of getting a dialogue option or whatever, when you go to talk to it, you'll have to do a battle. I mean, I just use my Cub Fu, and the video kind of cuts out partway through the battle. But I pretty sure wait, I'll see in a second. I'm pretty sure I used Oh wait, yeah, I looked about caching it. But um you can't catch it, mind you. You can I used Iron Head on my Cub Boo, but yeah. Then it'll basically be then you'll get into a talk with it or whatever, as you can see here. I mean, it doesn't really matter the dialogue options from my understanding. Um, but he'll he'll hypnotize Pony, I think that's how you say his name, and he'll he'll use Pony to talk. Here's a picture of the Triforce Pokemon slash Calyrex, just so you know what to see. Um, now here, Calyrex starts talking to you, and basically, he wants you to go speak to everyone about if they can remember who he is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you want to go around to each person. Um, just skip through that. Um, now, don't forget the mayor. The mayor's over by his house at the top there, and I forgot about him when I was going through at first, and it took me a little while to find him, so just make sure you go find the mayor, too. Again, just make sure to talk to everyone outside that's in the town. And here's just another shot of the mayor. Don't worry about anyone that's inside a house, you just want to talk to everyone else who's outside. Um, yeah, just don't forget to talk to the mayor. He'll tell you about the bountiful harvest, and yeah. So you want to talk to the mayor and everyone else that's outside, and then you want to make your way back to Calyrex and Pony, I think that's how you say his name, and then you want to go talk to Calyrex, and it doesn't really matter which dialogue option you do, just as long as you talk to him. So after you talk to Calyrex, you're going to want to leave the town and head down, and you're going to want to try and find the mayor, he's down that way. You'll see it in a second. But um, make sure that when you're in the town, you want to trade the man next to the carrots for some carrot seeds. Um, yeah, just make sure you get them because they'll be useful later. I might just remember that now. And yeah, go talk to the mayor. Now you're going to see the mayor and he's going to be um, pecking if any of the places are able to 
plant any carrots or anything like that, and or anything in general, and he'll be like, no, you know, he's like, you want to learn about all this stuff? He tells you about it, and yeah, that's what you really need to do. You have to go back to Freezington and go into his house now, okay? Um, so you're gonna want to head back to Freezington, like I'm doing. You can fast travel there, ride your bike back there. And you're, want, you're gonna wanna go to the mayor's house and he's got some books there that you need to read. You don't actually have to read them, you can just flip through them, but you you wanna read them to get the part done. So flipping through them will work really fast. If you actually care about reading them, then read them. It's really up to you if you read them or not there. The bookshelf is over here in the mayor's house, yeah. So now you want you should have flipped through all the books or read them earlier just now. And you're gonna want to make your way back to Calyrex after leaving the mayor's house, where you wanna go talk to him and he'll tell you what to do next. He's over where he was before, by the way. He'll be there every time you need to talk to him in the future, except for once, I think. So um, I just flashed the map on screen just now, but um, you're going to want to make your way to one of the places to plant the seeds. One of The one that I went to specifically was um, past this part, you go down a bit, and it's in this graveyard kind of area, so just go past a little bit here, and it should be there where you can plant the seed. Or you can go up to plant the seeds, up in the mountains, but down is faster, so you're so specifically here. Um, now you're gonna want to plant the seed here, the carrot seeds you got earlier, and, um, um, Calyrex will come and turn it into a special carrot, and you're gonna want to pick it. So, yeah, as you can see, the carrot's there, and yeah, you're gonna want to pick it right after you get past this dialogue, so just go up to it, go up to the carrot here, and then just pull the carrot out. Um, then... Um, Calyrex horse is going to go to town, and you want, you're going to want to go back to town and fight it, because it smells the carrot, and so you're going to want to go back to town and fight it. Yeah. So, you're going to see this little cutscene, and basically, um, I'm not showing it because I forgot to record it, but you're going to see a cutscene where Calyrex's horse is making this way to Freezington, and you're going to want to get there to battle it. As you can see, you can just fast travel there on the map, and yeah, just travel to Freezington to go fight the horse, which will be in the center of town. But yeah, now in the middle of town, there should be um this new Pokemon. I mean, at first when I saw the statue, I thought it was a Galarian Rapidash, but then when I immediately saw it, when it ran by, I was like, whoa, it's a new legendary Pokemon that wasn't even shown in the trailers. But yeah, you're going to want to battle Spectrier, and when you beat it, it'll drop a piece of hair and it'll run away. Yeah. So, after you battle Spectrier, you're going to want to go and talk to, um, and... You're going to want to go and talk to Calyrex. Calyrex will be in his usual spot, and then you're going to want to go and try and talk to the mayor or someone else who can um, make it. And the mayor is the only one who can make it, as you can see here, so go talk to the mayor. And it's to make these reins for Calyrex so he can tame Spectrier. And yeah, talk to the mayor. Um, so when you get there, there'll be a cutscene. The mayor won't be able to make it, but... um. Pony or whatever will end up being able to make it because he's made ropes and stuff or something. And you're going to want to go, and then there will be a little cutscene with um, Pony and Calyrex. And after that, you're going to want to try and make your way to the top of the mountain. I'll show a screenshot of where to go in a second. The location on your mini-map will be a big tree if you look on the town map. But this is what it should look like when you get to the top of the mountain area. Um, you'll see Calyrex, and then a cutscene will start. You'll go through the cutscene, he'll tame the horse, and then you'll get engaged in a battle. But yeah, so after the cutscene or whatever, whatever you're going to get engaged in a battle. You just want to battle Calyrex and Spectre or the horse, whatever you want to call it. 
and I used my master ball to catch it. And yet, yeah, then after that, you've caught Calyrex and you've completed clue one. There will be a Rotom cutscene. Go into your inventory and you'll find this thing, the Reins of Unity. It's what's dropped by Calyrex, or it's an item that Calyrex comes with. And um, with this item, it'll allow you to fuse Calyrex and Spectrier. Um, it's kind of like um, Kiram and Rushram and Zekarom. And yeah. Um, thanks for watching the video. I know the video's quality is mediocre, and I'm sorry about that, especially the footage. And I kept forgetting to take footage. That's because I don't really have a capture card, and I'm using the record button on the Nintendo Switch. I know it's a different kind of video on my channel, but later today, the day that I'm uploading this video, I'll be streaming Minecraft. So if you want to watch me play Minecraft again, everyone who came to my channel to watch me play and stream Minecraft, I'll be doing that later today. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye. Like and subscribe if you want to. I mean, it'd help out. Um, but yeah, have a good day, and goodbye.